The content of this video is for educational purposes only. What you do with this information is at your own risk. Thank you for watching. Enjoy! How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be setting up a payload launcher for unpatched switches here in Ubuntu Linux. So let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so I was just going through my social media accounts and I had some messages asking me if there is a payload launcher for unpatched switches. So if you have your unpatched switch in RCM mode and you need to launch into Hecate, that's what I was being asked for. And I had just posted a video about Ubuntu uh, Linux with tinfoil nut. And there I show my unpatched switch being used in there with Hecate SD card tools. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I don't have the best way, but I do have a way of injecting a payload into your unpatched switch. So let's go ahead and go through the steps together and see how everything works out. Okay, so to get started, when you want to install anything new on your Linux device, it's always best to just do an update check to see if there's anything pending. And also after you install anything, to redo an update check to see if there's anything pending for what you just installed. So let's go ahead and get started with the update. So here in Ubuntu Linux, you're gonna wanna click on files. And once you're here, you're gonna wanna click on home the home tab and here in anywhere in the empty space here in home you're going to right click and then open a terminal so here in terminal you're going to want to type in sudo apt update and then press enter it's going to ask for your password that you created when you made linux and check to see if there's any type of updates if you don't have any updates that's okay it's just always good to check Right here, it does say that I have seven packages that can be upgraded. Let's see if we can. So after you do an update, you always want to check to see if you can upgrade as well. So we're gonna do sudo apt upgrade, and then press enter. It says uh, that I'm gonna install an extra amount of space. Just press Y and enter, because we wanna make sure we have everything as up to date as possible, so we can have as minimal issues as possible. So let's just let this finish. Okay, so after you do the update and upgrade, you can go ahead and type in clear in your terminal because now we can download the necessary program in order to run the payload launcher. This program is called Python, specifically Python 3 because that's what I'm using. And I wanna make sure that we're all on the same program so that way we can have as minimal issues as possible. But before I show you how to install Python 3, I would like to say that if you already have Python 3 set up and installed on your device, then you don't need to follow these next steps. This is gonna be for those that have Python 1 or 2 or don't have Python at all and get them set up like this. So if you don't have Python 3, go ahead and try to install it by typing in sudo apt install Python 3, then press enter. So since I already have mine at the latest version, it's telling me that I already have it. But for you, if it's doing a whole bunch of stuff installing, it may ask you if you want to install or continue, you can type Y and then press enter. But after you're done with installing Python 3, now what we need to do is install the pip for Python 3. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna type in sudo apt install python three dash pip now and then press enter i'm going to get the same message that mine is already up to date but yours may show a bunch of installing it's going to most likely ask you if you want to continue you're going to type in y and then press enter after you're done we're going to want to update the pip and make sure that we're on the latest version as possible so we're going to do an extra line that's really not necessary, but I found to have helped me out a lot just by adding it. So if I remember, it's going to be Python 3 dash M uh, pip install. I think it's dash dash upgrade pip. 
I think. Let me check real quick. Take my notes and it's Python dash M pip installed dash dash upgrade pip. Okay. That's correct. Once you type that in, press enter. It's gonna tell me the same thing that it already has the files for the pip. So this is just an extra step to make sure that it's uh, fully upgraded. And last that we need for Python is Python USB or Py USB. And unfortunately on here on the GitHub, it tells you for Py USB, but Py USB is, I'm assuming it's too old already. It doesn't work because it did not work for me. So instead what we need to install is Python three USB. So, I saw a lot of people with issues when trying to use anything with USB for switch related stuff and people are trying to use lib USB or Pi USB and I found the best option for me was Python 3 USB. Let's go ahead and try to install it. So it's going to be sudo apt install Python 3 dash USB. Sure it's spelled correctly and then press enter. So I already have it, but if it installs for you, just go ahead and type in Y. If it asks you, if you want to continue, type Y, then press enter. But now we should have all the things that we need in order to run this payload launcher. So now all we need to do next is clone into the payload launcher. Okay, so I went ahead and typed in clear again. And now what we need to do is clone into the repository for our Fuse launcher. Now, in order to clone into a repository, you also need a program that's called Git. And if you already have Git, then you should be good to go. But if you don't have it, you can try to install it by typing in sudo apt install git. Press enter. It asks for your password. Password. I already have mine installed, but if yours is installing, go ahead and let it do its thing. If it asks you if you want to continue, type Y, then press enter. Once you have Git installed, we can now clone our repository for the Fusi launcher. So let's go ahead and close out of this terminal and let's download the necessary things like Hecate and clone into the, the repository. So let's start with Hecate since I already have it on this tab. If you look in the description down below, there's going to be several links and one of them should say click here to download Hecate. So once you click on the link, it'll take you to the release page for it. You want to make sure that you're on the latest version of the release, which is right now 6.0.7. It's usually the top version of the page. But once you know the version that is the latest, you're going to scroll down and click here on the assets area. Click on this link to start the download process. I've already downloaded mine and have it down here ready for my direction because we need the payload file from there. After that, we can go to the next link in the description, which is for the Fusey launcher. Once you're here in this uh, GitHub area, you're going to want to go to this uh, green button here or click on code. And here we need to have this URL address. So I'm going to click on this once to highlight everything, right click and then copy. Once we have that information, I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to have my files open here on the home tab. I'm going to right click and open a terminal here in home. And once I have that, I can type in git clone and then right click paste. So make sure that it's the full URL or it's not going to work. But I have it here. Just press enter. And here it says here cloning into Fusey Log. So now we should have it here in the home tab of our files. We can now get out of this terminal. And now we can enter the root folder for a uh, Fusey launcher. So here in the root or the beginning of the folder of Fusey launcher, we need to add the Hecate payload file in here. So since I have the zip file down here on my uh, desktop, you can say, I'm going to double click to enter the archive. And then here I'm going to extract this Hecate.bin file into the Fusey launcher. Once you do that, you'll have the Hecate file here. Close out of the archive. And then you can now rename this file, rename it to payload. So it looks like this payload.bin. And now, now that you have this in the root directory, we can now try to run Fusey Launcher and boot into Hecate. So let me switch to my camera view on my switch so that way you can see it uh, from there boot into Hecate. 
Okay, so here, just so that way y'all can see, I have my unpatched switch. It's already powered off and in RCM mode. See, I have the jig in place. It's also plugged into my PC, and it's just waiting for a payload. Now, before I inject the payload, to show y'all that it's working, I would like to mention that in the GitHub, it does say that you can only use a USB 3.0 port. So that's the only downfall to this payload launcher. But USB 3.0 is kind of standard now, so hopefully you do have it. But if you don't have it and it's not working for you, then most likely because you're using a USB 2.0 port. So with that being said, now let's go ahead and try it out. So with my switch ready for injection, I'm going to go back onto my Ubuntu. And here, make sure that I'm on the root folder for Fusey Launcher. We got payload bin, right click, and open a terminal. And here, make sure it says Fusey Launcher. And in order to um, launch a payload, you need to type this out, which is dot or period forward slash Fusey dash launcher dot py and then space payload dot bin and then press enter. Okay, so this is something that always happens to me, and I don't think it's going to happen to you. Maybe it will, but it's asking to be used in root because I can't be using the USB here it will, with insufficient permission. So in order to make this work, you're going to have to close out of this terminal and then right click and then open as root. So once you do that, you need to type in the password for um, your Linux and then press enter. And then it's going to open up this, which says elevated privileges. And then you're going to want to right click again and then open a terminal. It's going to open up a different looking terminal. And then here we're going to type in the same thing, period forward slash easy uh, dash launcher dot py uh, payload dot bin. And now it should work. So I'm going to press enter. And then you can see that on my phone or the camera, it shows my switch just launched into him. So it is working on root. I know there's a way to deactivate this. So that way you don't have to use root, but I'm not that knowledgeable in Linux. So I don't really know. But uh, those of you that do know, you can leave a comment down below and I can probably pin it. That way, if people ask, or I can just show and update my description, something like that. So that way, uh, people don't have to use the root. I know it's a lot more risky to use the root, but we're just launching a payload, so it's not a big deal. But there you go. Uh, it says here, make sure you're using the device into a blue USB 3 port. And we were able to launch into it. So that's pretty much it. Everything works for me here, uh, as in launching, because that's all we wanted to do. And okay, so that's pretty much it. Everything is working for me, and I hope everything is working for you as well. But of course, if it isn't, you can leave a comment down below, and I'll try and help you out as best as I can. Just keep in mind that I'm not so familiar with Linux, so I might not have all the answers, but I'll try. So you leave a comment if it does work for you, if you try it out, and well, I hope it works for you. So thank you, everyone that gives support to the channel, gives support to me. I really appreciate it. So again, thank you for watching. I love you, and I'll see you on the next one.